Now, NBA offseason is about to be on fire as well. Because the Celtics, ah, the Celtics. All the sacrifice handling the enormous weight of massive expectations ends tonight here. It's over. Time to say it again, Boston. Anything's possible. Banner number 18 has been secured. The Celtics are NBA champions. The Celtics with their 18th banner to Boston NBA history. As you are listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMC FM and AC1 San Francisco, Odyssey Sports Station, always live on the free Odyssey app. Don't forget, you can also watch us every single day on our YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter streams. Brought to you by First NorCal Credit Union. For a low rate, all the loan apply online to just ask for First NorCal financing at the dealer. The Celtics go 16-3 in the, pl- in the playoffs. Um, we could say they had an easy road, no doubt about it, but they took full advantage of it, and they smoked the Mavericks in five games. A blowout last night as Peyton Pritchard gave him a 21-point lead at the half with the half-court buzzer-beating heave. Tatum balled out. Jalen Brown, your finals MVP, Bill Russell Award finals MVP out of Cal Berkeley, of course. Good for the Celtics. They win. Um, and now they're loaded. They're locked and loaded. And now the Warriors locked and loaded because now that <laughs> the end of the finals, it is time. Soon as the finals, soon as the finals is over, midnight, the Warriors now have an opportunity to negotiate with their own free agent and Clay Thompson. Negotiate with a player on the roster that is rookie extension eligible. We're looking at Jonathan Kaminga and we're looking at Moses Moody. And then negotiate with the player on your roster that is a veteran extension eligible as of July 6th, which is Stephen Curry. So as of right now, the big name, of course, is what's going to happen with Clay Thompson. But quick, your thoughts on the NBA Finals and any any beef over the Finals MVP? Because I know people are going to make a big deal about that. It, it already feels like Jason Tatum is going to go through the, the Steph Curry dilution where nationally they're just not going to give him any love. He was the best player on the Celtics all year. Right. And, and right. Jalen Brown had a, had a great finals. He had a great Eastern Conference finals as well. I thought they were the best team all year. I, I wanted to see them, you know, do it in the playoffs. And they did it in the they playoffs. It. it doesn't matter who was in front of them. Tell us. I was shocked at how Jalen took on the matchup of Luka very oh personally. Gosh. And it felt like Luka was exhausted yesterday. And then they put Luka in the action all day, every day. And I just... They were a great pairing all year, and and it makes a lot of sense. When you get into these playoff matchups, though, Luka and Kyrie, I just wonder, having an ISO guy like Kyrie, he can set up for others, but he's more of like an ISO spot-up shooter type of a guy, try to cut to the rim or, or drive to the rim, excuse me. Maybe they need like an athlete alongside Luka because they both are deficient defensively. And I right. thought that it, that five wide offense for Boston, just Dallas had no answers for it whatsoever. And so th- there's a lot of questions that I have about Dallas and, and just the West is in general. And, you know, OKC is going to probably make moves and Denver, who knows what they end up doing. Um, I don't know what Dallas ends up doing, but looking at Boston, it's like that is the team to beat right now. They've got really good perimeter defense. Drew Holiday was outstanding. Um, I, I think I think the East is theirs for quite some time. Yeah. Let's see what Philadelphia does. Let's see what Orlando I mean, does. Good. Let's see what Cleveland does. But no, they're set up with Drew Holiday, a great perimeter defender who was, every time I looked up, Drew Holiday was grabbing an offensive rebound. Every time I looked up, he was grabbing a 50-50 ball. And the most, you know what? And we're going to talk about that backcourt. Derek White has come a long way, a long way. So Derek White and Drew Holiday both with eight rebounds last night. Um, or excuse me, Drew Holiday had 11 rebounds, 15, 11, and four, four offensive rebounds. Derek White had four offensive rebounds. They dominate the boards uh, against the Dallas Mavericks, 51 to 35. And the way they defended Luka, you talked about Jalen Brown taking that matchup personally. You heard the sounds of the game where he's mic'd up. He goes, is Luka in? If Luka's in, I'm in. If Luka's in, I'm in. And every time they try to run that high, pick a roll around half court, Boston just blitzed it. They blitzed it and got the ball out of Luka's hands, and he was – he was befuddled last night. The physicality got to him. Uh, the way they attacked him as the best player, and probably, you know, the most talented player that year is no doubt, but it doesn't matter. You need the best team. And the best team was the Boston Celtics. The way they just involved them in every single action, even if they didn't make it, they made Luka work and work and work and work. And then blitzing him on that high pick and roll and getting the ball out of his hands. You saw Horford and Brown trapping him at half court multiple times last night. What a game plan for ball. And Joe Mazzulla. Youngest head coach to win an NBA championship since Bill Russell back in 69, 35 years old. Wow. Putting Boston Tatum, is set up. Missoula putting Tatum on their bigs 
early in the series, like really oh, yeah. stifled Dallas. They didn't really have a changeup. And then the inability for both Luka and Kyrie to get anything off the dribble yep. against those individual Could defenders, separate. it Could. really it had like a warrior feel to it where like the Warriors couldn't break anyone off right. the dribble outside of Steph Curry. Like I think I don't know. It's, just, it's interesting how matchups work in the playoffs. Yeah. All your flaws get exposed no by doubt. certain teams. No doubt. Would Minnesota have given Boston a better series? Probably. Would Denver have given Boston Wouldn't a better it? series? Probably. Probably. I, probably. But but you know what? I think Boston was the best team. Boston in the is all the best year. team. They I mean, were the it, best. I would have loved to see Denver Boston. That would have been a lot of fun. What would they have done with the Joker? Uh, but and like a know, seven game series against one of those teams, the health of Porzingis is much more yeah, yeah, much more important. They didn't need Porzingis no. last night. He only played sixteen minutes. Oh, oh man, Al Horford gets his ring. Seventeen Good years in the Horford. league, but but that backcourt of Drew Holiday and Derek White, that is a tenacious backcourt defensively. I, Derek White, we saw him a couple years ago in the finals. Like, yeah, that's the weak link. And how about the Celtics too. saying, you know what? We're going to keep Derek White. Yeah, We'll trade Marcus Smart, who was a defensive player of the year. That's who I felt bad for. Well, Grant Williams in the locker room last night trying to high side with the Boston Celtics. Like, dude, Grant, you've been on two teams now. <laughs> like, stay out the locker room. Well, but, just but Marcus, Marcus Smart, Smart was such a good Celtic for so long. He was. I do feel like but, when a guy's there for that long and then they, you're ended up getting dealt and they win it all, I, j I just feel bad for him. Yeah, I don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Biggest loser yesterday for me, Ime Udoka. You oh, talk wow. about fumbling the wow. bag of trying to get a championship. I mean, That's I know they call. did good things with the Houston Rockets, but man, well, that team looks primed for well, years to come. Well, now. how about that? Joe Mazzulla was the fourth assistant on that team a couple of years ago against the Golden State Warriors, the fourth assistant. And he interviewed for the Utah Jazz job. It went over to the other Celtics assistant, I didn't know that. Will Hardy. Will Hardy got the job. So Mazzola's hanging around, hanging around. Ime gets basically suspended five days before trading camp. It's like, hey, Joe, you ready for the job? And Brad Stevens, the architect of that team, all the trades he made to assemble that roster, to bring in Drew Holiday, to bring in Kristaps Porzingis, and to bring in Derek White, well done, Brad Stevens. Now the Celtics are set up. And they look primed to maybe make a run at going back-to-back -back here. So the Celtics win the championship.